Hey guys, this is Alyssa. I help introvert moms clear their space and schedules so you can live your best life now and not wait till the kids are gone. Today we're going to talk about what happens when you walk in the door of your house from some outside activity. So question, what's the very first thing you do when you walk in the door? Put your purse down, throw your keys someplace, wash your hands, tell me in the comments below. So what about a system for we're home guys, just like you created one for let's go. I think it would be really useful for you. And uh, let me explain how to do this. First, list your inside the vehicle priorities. What has to happen before you even walk in the door of your house? You've got people to unbuckle, to lift out of the car seat, maybe lift in the car seat, if they're still pretty little. You have grocery bags, errand bags. Do you need to take the diaper bag in with you for a refill? Do you have any receipts or things um, that you've got in the console by the driver? Did you bring water bottles with you? Snacks? Do the kids have toys? Is there any trash? What is in the vehicle, including people, that used to come in the house? Now, then you list what are your in-house priorities? Um, all the people, do they need bathroom breaks, um, washed hands? Does everyone tend to need a snack at that time of day? All of those bags obviously have to get unpacked. The stuff in them has to be put away. Maybe you need to clip tags. Um, refill the diaper bag, throw away the trash, refill the water bottles, or do you empty and wash them? What is happening when you're inside the house? Okay, so you've got your two lists, vehicle and in-house. Now, make a list of all the stuff that you would like to happen. And go ahead and add anything to it that you would like to get done, but hasn't been getting done. So when you walk in, would you like everyone to go play outside and give you 15 minutes of quiet to put everything away? Or are you the type you would rather everyone do kind of like a five minute blitz and help you put all the stuff away with you telling them what to do and where it goes? What would you like to happen? You can set the tone. All right, now, delegate, divide, and conquer. You do not have to do all this stuff yourself. You shouldn't be doing all this stuff yourself, not unless your kids are, you know, like four and under, okay? So, get grab your two lists and see what things can you have the kids doing. The big kids can probably help you unbuckle the little ones. They can certainly carry bags and library books, um, most kinds of errands and groceries you've got, except for, you know, maybe you don't want them carrying the eggs or something really delicate, but you might have some things that are too heavy. Depends how old they are. They can carry some pretty heavy things when they get 10 or so. Um, what do you have to do yourself? Okay, you might want to do the eggs. You probably want to deal with your own keys. If you give them to your four-year-old, you'll never see them again. Um, you probably need to be the diaper bag restocker for some of this stuff. You could probably tell your eight-year-old, go put some more Cheerios in that container, you know? And you could tell the five-year-old, and go put the diaper bag back in the van now. Um, but some of this stuff, you know, receipts and money and purses and phones and stuff, you probably have to do yourself. So you say, pick your things, you pick their things, and then explain to the kids that everyone's going to help, except for the ones that are too little, and try this the next time you come home. Catch them before they just go running wild and go crazy all around the house and say, no, 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 before we walk in, I want Alyssa to go grab, you know, the bag of bananas and I want um, Matthew to go pull the potatoes and you can carry a fi one five pound sack and then I want Alan to take the other five pound sack and then you are going to grab the eggs and the baby because you and mom you can do two, two things at once okay so it is pretty cute to watch your four-year-old carrying in a gallon of milk huffing and puffing with effort <laughs> it's not too heavy because I'm strong <laughs> and he feels pretty good about helping you, right? So go to yourunbusylife.com, scroll to the bottom, and sign up for the Introvert Email Tribe. I'm going to send you another article every week that the blog people do not get to read. This is exclusive for you email subscribers. When you do this, yourunbusylife.com, all the way at the bottom, sign up for the Introvert Email Tribe for your exclusive content. Have a great day.